Hey guys, it's Jade, and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, as you guys can probably tell by the title above, we are going to be doing my college pack with me video. I will be entering my sophomore year of college at Lee University as a nursing major, and I thought I would bring you guys along for the packing process again, like I did last year um, for my freshman year of college. I definitely am getting a much later start um, than I did last year. I had like everything packed like a week before I was moving in. And now it is 4.30, uh, the day before I move in and I have nothing packed. So we've got a lot to do today, sisters. <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel and you like this video, make sure to subscribe as well as give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. So honestly, I'm whipping out this camera and choosing to do this right now mainly in part because I have no motivation to pack. Like I really don't want to do it. And for some reason I'm kind of in a weird mood right now. Like I don't know if I'm like sad or angry or lazy or unmotivated or... I don't know, but I'm just like not feeling the vibes. So I thought that filming a video would maybe brighten my mood a little bit. It usually does. So here we are vlogging the pack with me. So I first wanted to give you guys a little bit of an OOTD like I always do at the beginning of every vlog. Um, this one is really nothing too fancy, but there are some cool things that I wanted to point out. So first of all, my hair looks ratchet. However, that's just how it's gonna look in this video. It's a freaking pack with me. I am not on the Victoria's Secret fashion show right now, sis. Then this next thing is actually a sweatshirt that I made. This is a little green sweatshirt that I thrifted from Plato's Closet, but then using my Cricut machine, I actually made a really cool design on it. And I don't know if you guys are really gonna be able to see the back. I'm trying to angle it to where you guys can see it. I don't know if you saw it, but super cute. I love this sweatshirt. I designed that and I, I think it's cute. And then I'm just wearing a pair of black leggings. And these are also something that I kind of wanted to shout out because I just got them from Amazon. They are actually the CRZ Yoga or Crazy Yoga, however you guys want to call it, 25 inch um, naked feeling leggings with the little pockets on the side. And y'all, these slap. These are so good. I am absolutely going to be ordering several more pairs of the black ones, hopefully some pairs of the different colors that they have. I'm really into it. They literally feel exactly like Lululemon, like exactly. They fit awesome. They do run, I don't want to say that they run small, but I feel like typically with like leggings and things that you want to be tighter, I get an extra small and I did try on an extra small originally and those things were tiny, like could not, I mean like I could get them on, but oh man, like they were not going over my butt. So these are size small. So I would say either regular size to maybe a little bit bigger, if anything, just to make sure that they fit. I am definitely feel like I'm kind of like in between sizes, which I feel like a lot of the reviews that I read said that, but I still wanted to point them out in this video, even though this is a pack with me video, because they are so good and they're only like $28. So my room is a wreck right now and it has been for the last several days, which just really bothers me. I think that just shows something about my mood right now because typically I'm a person that keeps my room like really, really, really organized and my room is not organized right now. Um, so I don't even really know where to begin with this video. I did in fact get myself a Root 44 Cherry Limeade from Sonic. Have I already finished it before we even started packing? Yes. Yes, I have. Y'all, I don't even know why I'm in such a bad mood. It's kind of uh, an interesting phenomenon. I just have friends that I feel like are bothering me. I have, I get think some nerves going back to school as anyone probably does that is going back to school. Like I am mainly excited. I miss so many of my college friends. So I'm super pumped to be back. But then at the same time, there are things that aren't perfect about being at school that um, are fixed when I come home. So there is a part of me that's just, I guess a little bit anxious about that. As well as I have other things going on in my personal life and it's just kind of killing the vibe, if you know what I mean. I did get to have a really sweet brunch with my friends this morning, um, which was so nice. And I really did need that to kind of boost my mood and make me feel happy as I'm going back to school, even though it's also kind of bittersweet because I had to say goodbye to them at said brunch. First off though, I do want to show you what I've already packed because I haven't completely not packed anything. I just haven't packed like any clothes or anything like that, but I do have a lot of my dorm apartment stuff already packed up. So I will show you guys that really quick. So first up, I actually have this little box of stuff right here. This is just random decor, bathroom stuff, whatever. Very not super organized bucket. Has a bunch of different random things in there and some extra school supplies. This is actually a, the majority of the stuff that I just did in my last um, college apartment hall part two, which I'm pretty sure, I don't know if this will go up either after that or before that. Hopefully this will go up after that. Um, but yes, because I ended up buying a lot more stuff than what I had in my original haul. So there's one box. 
So this is kind of all the stuff that I do already have packed in my uh, basement in my house right now. So first up, this is my coffee table. I didn't really ever talk about this in the video, but it was kind of this brown old looking one we got from Goodwill for 10 bucks and I just refinished it, painted it white, pretty simple. Um, and then these are kind of all of just my extra, my like dorm stuff from last year, new stuff for the kitchen and things like that that I bought for the apartment and I've kind of all got it packed and relatively organized by what category of thing it is. Um, and I did make some, I can show you, labels for the buckets on my Cricut. I did not get to finish that for all of these buckets. It's pretty excess anyways. It's not really a necessary thing to have happen. So not the biggest deal, but we've got kind of decor and extra stuff. I got my rug down there. These four are all kitchen things and cleaning supplies and there's a lot of extra things. I got some textbooks from last year that I'm still going to need to bring. More decor, uh, linens and sheets, my pillows, some more throw pillows in those bags, and then more just kind of storage organization things. It's so funny because I came down here and I thought my dad wasn't home anymore, and I love my dad. He's my he's my BFF, and my parents are very supportive of my YouTube channel, but I'm still so uncomfortable filming around people. It's kind of hilarious. I literally, like, he was, I feel so bad. He was sitting down here watching his TV, minding his own business, and then I'm like, um, can you, like, go stand outside for like two minutes while I film this clip because <laughs> I just feel so awkward talking with a camera when there's people in the room like I feel like it's even more awkward when it's just like one person in the room watching you than like walking down the street with a vlog camera which even that I'm uncomfortable doing so like I'm great at this as you can see so I've been debating because I'm literally in high-key cranky girl vibes right now but I kind of was thinking I was like you know what this is a good time to vlog. This is a perfect time to vlog because this is the reality of the situation here. I come across very bubbly and fun and optimistic and, and hopefully kind. And I think that that is very much the reality for most of the time. However, I am a human being and I get in cranky girl hour, Ooh, internal burped, loved that. And that's just how it is. So I'm going to put on some jams, maybe some of that, oh, what's that new song by Billie Eilish, Happier Than Ever, I think it's called? Oh, a freaking banger. I think I'm gonna start blasting that and we're just gonna start tackling things. Um, I think the first thing that I'm probably gonna do is try and put all of the clothing from my drawer into some buckets just so I can see how many buckets and boxes and suitcases and things like that I'm gonna need. I'm really hoping I have enough here and I won't have to go out and buy boxes because that it's just gonna make me so mad. I don't wanna do it. <laughs> but I'm gonna do a little time lapse action, play some music, and then I'll check back in with you guys when we're ready for our next task. Oh, goodness. All right, guys, so I wanted to come on here and update you guys on the progress we've made so far. It really hasn't been that long, but I have made quite a bit of progress. So I've now cleaned out my entire mom dresser that is like where I keep like my t-shirt, sweatshirt, socks, underwear, all that type of stuff. Um, and actually ended up fitting all of that that I'm gonna bring, t-shirt, sweatshirts, socks, underwear, all those things into one bucket, like one of those. Kind of proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. I overpacked to the extreme last year, so I'm really trying to do better. Where I always pack the most is solely like my hanging clothes because we're in my closet right now, if I didn't mention that. I have so many and I love them all, so I just want to bring them. Um, I actually did go through and clean out a ton of my clothes yesterday like a ton of stuff and brought it to Play-Doh's closet and was hoping to sell it. You know, guys know I usually sell my clothes on a Poshmark, but obviously it didn't really have time for that. I ended up getting $188 from Play-Doh's and they took like 50 items. So did pretty well, kind of proud of myself. So that really has helped out a ton um, and then dropped off whatever they didn't take at Goodwill. But now we're actually gonna go through my shoes. I'm gonna hopefully get all my shoes to fit in one bucket. That is also where I tend to overpack and bring away too many, but I just love all my shoes and I wear them all, but I don't need them all. But wanted to come on here, give you guys a quick update on how we're doing. The mood is already improving. I'm listening to Coin, which is my favorite ever. Shout out to them. If they see this video, probably they will never, but hey. A girl can dream. Anyways, let's start the next time lapse. All right guys, so I was actually completely successful in packing all of my shoes into one bucket. I'm really impressed with myself because last year, I swear I took like two, maybe even three 
full buckets of shoes to school but you know it's literally so unnecessary um and i have pretty much everything i feel like i'm probably gonna wear definitely leaving some shoes that i'm going to want to have there but i'm going to have to condense it's gonna be okay so I actually ended up packing up my makeup a couple of days ago. Actually, I think it was literally last night, so not that long ago. But I wanted to show you guys kind of how I packed it up and how I'm going to be organizing it for the school year. So I've actually decided to keep all of my makeup in this one little makeup bag that I actually got from Nordstrom Rack. If you guys are looking for it, it holds my brushes, my Real Technique sponge, my makeup wipes, and all of my everyday makeup plus a bunch of additional products that I don't use every day but want to have. This is my normal makeup drawer and as you can see I'm still leaving quite a bit here but I really just wanted to try and consolidate and only bring the things that I really feel like I'm going to use every single day like or rotate between everyday products that I love a lot as well as maybe a few extra things that I might use to get ready for more formal events or if I'm doing a little bit more of a full glam look but honestly what I'm wearing today which is kind of worn off but like eh, is kind of what I wear on the normal basis which is a mascara and concealer bronzer blush um and uh, yeah that's that's kind of it so um i really don't need that much even though this makeup bag is still massive and filled to the max um I, this is will be better i feel like for me than packing like a whole drawer worth so i'll give you guys a little bit of a tour on this top portion it kind of just opens up like this and in this pocket i actually have it's bigger than you'd think it was i've got a whole pack of makeup wipes and my little sponge in there and then on this side, it's actually got this really cool little makeup brush holder that ends up holding my makeup brushes perfectly. Again, this is my normal makeup brush drawer, and so I'm leaving a bunch. But these are really my everyday face brushes are these ones right here. I have my everyday eye brushes, which are literally just those three. I really don't wear um, eyeshadow, but I do sometimes put like a nude shade just to kind of set the concealer and cover up some of the veins on my eyes. So that's pretty much it. And then I have just a couple extra eye brushes if I actually am going to do an eyeshadow look and need a couple other colors. So this holds all that perfectly. In this main portion, as you can see, it is pretty disorganized and very stuffed to the max. I couldn't really figure out a good way to like arrange all of the products in here yet. I kind of just threw them in here. It's mainly because this freaking Benefit palette doesn't fit standing up in here and so it just causes all kinds of problems. But I just have all of my kind of a couple eyeshadow palettes. I think I have three. Um, and then my everyday products that I just enjoy using. Again, I do not use the all of these on an everyday basis. That would be a little intense but I do just kind of have the products that I feel like I really do genuinely use and switch between so rather than like all the extra stuff that I only use on special occasions so I'm hoping this system works for me it's just one makeup bag I'm actually really excited about it um, so now I think I'm actually going to conquer the big kahuna. So probably one of my least favorite things to pack is all of my hanging things. Now the best tip I have for you guys, and actually something I mentioned in last year's video, and you probably know about at this point if you have ever moved to college or thinking about moving to college or watched any of these types of videos, really not that big of a secret anymore, but it's actually to do the trash bag trick. So you leave all of your stuff on the hangers as is and then put trash bags around it and transport it that way rather than taking everything off the hangers, packing it, and then putting it back on the hangers. When I watch these videos and I still see people do that, I'm like, oh, sis, what? Sis, why? So, we're gonna be doing the trash bag trick, and I don't know why I hate this part so much, but it's really the part I've been the like looking forward to the least. I just have a lot of hanging clothes. I have a lot of clothes in general, and uh, I just don't wanna do it. But I think that's gonna be the next thing that we do as far as packing, because once that is done, um, honestly, the worst part of this is over and then I can kind of just focus on all of those little extra little things I need like books movies I have to pack up my iMac over there and I think I'm going to be taking my Cricut with me and maybe I don't know I still have yet to decide that maybe we'll debrief that in this video I don't know <laughs> man I do not have the motivation to do this right now but we are going to have to do it <laughs> oh my lord guys I, I finally finished the freaking trash bags Hold on, let me show you. All right guys, so um, several hours later, I finished all my trash bags of clothing. I know that this is so much, like trust me, trust me sis, also watching Emma McDonald, love her. Um, trust me, I know this is so much, but I tend to like to just take all of the clothes that I feel like I'm gonna want for the whole year, whole semester, um, like right now for this move in rather than coming back and getting some because I know that I'll be back at some point during the semester. I love my parents. I want to come see them and I love Nashville, but 
when you come back and then bring stuff like halfway through the semester, then you have to move it in yourself and you don't have your family to help you move it in. So I just like to bring it all right now. I'm really hoping it's all gonna fit in the closet. I'm okay with I'm okay with squishing, you know? Um, and we'll see how it goes. I did leave some of my really big intense puffer jackets at um, here in my closet. That's why I went like that um, for Hopefully to maybe get over winter break or I can come back and get those a little bit later because that's only like three jackets so not the end of the world but I really just didn't feel like packing them but I did finally again do all that. I have those boxes packed. I have my little uh, thing over there filled with my clothing so pretty much at this point my clothing is done. Now it's kind of on to miscellaneous things such as bags and my camera equipment and my computer behind me over there. I actually cannot pack my computer yet because I have three videos to edit today before we can leave. I do think I'm going to take a little bit of a break, whether or not that be to edit my videos, get some dinner in me, something like that. Um, but then we're going to continue packing. I just, that was such a struggle. I hate doing that part. That is my least favorite part. Okay guys, so it is now 8.48 PM and I just finished eating some Jersey Mike's and watching some TikToks. Um, pretty iconic. If you ask me um and now we actually need to get back to packing because i have not that much time i get up and go pretty much in the morning um well, and we'll still have to load everything into the car tomorrow morning so um at this point we're kind of just doing bags tech products and all the miscellaneous things all the clothes should be done at this point hopefully um so again i'm just gonna be doing some more packing time lapses for you guys i only have one plastic bin left. Hopefully that can be enough. If not, I still have my suitcases and I haven't put anything in those. So I'm sure I can use those to bring anything else that I need. So let's start the time lapses. <laughs> So I thought I would hop on here real quick and give you guys a little update of all the things that I've done. So I did pack up this Buffalo Exchange bag right here with all of my kind of desk and office supplies. You guys know, big craft and planner girl. So probably have way too much stationery compared to the average person. Also just noticed there's a rip in my bag, but hopefully it doesn't break my whole bag. Um, but so I just packed up my whole desk over there. As you can see, and probably saw by the time lapse clips, I'm kind of just pulling out all those little random things that I need. There are so many more of those little like random kind of miscellaneous things that are like other than clothes that you need that I always forget about. Like for me, like all my camera equipment, all my technology, I don't even read that much, but I do have a couple books I like to bring and um, my back rolly stuff and my umbrellas and, and makeup and melatonin gummies and just picnic blankets, like all these random, random things that you need. And so I've packed one duffel that has uh, my beanies, my hats, my um, hiking and climbing gear, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. I have pretty much these two suitcases left and those are the, in, in one like really super tiny plastic bin right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I think I'm pointing, am I pointing at it? Hold on. <laughs> this little dude. And that's literally all I have left to put things in and one more of those little like tote, like grocery, reusable grocery bag things. <laughs> So we're gonna hope that we can fit everything else that we need in these and that we don't need to go get any, well, I, there's no, I can't go get more boxes cause it's like 10 or 11 o'clock at night right now. But I actually just finished from getting back upstairs. I didn't end up bringing the, the vlog camera and vlogging just because I needed to get stuff done and um, everyone's kind of asleep right now. So I needed to be quiet. Um, but I did go through, my parents are so kind and they let me raid their pantry um, before I leave. And I pretty much do almost like a full grocery shopping trip just from the stuff in our pantry, um, which is pretty crazy. I took a lot of like canned stuff and um, things like that that are non-perishable. Also, there's a lot of food in my pantry that really only I eat when I'm in the summertime. 
I think I might actually pop in and take a shower though before um, I go to sleep just so that I can have clean hair for tomorrow and it not be too greasy and gross and messy. <laughs> so I've kind of done a million and one time lapses and I feel like y'all are probably done watching them. So I think I'm just gonna do those things on my own, but then I'll give you guys updates and show you how everything looks once it's packed. All right guys, so it's quite a bit later. Sorry for that noise. I'm actually making something on my Cricut right now, but um, I did actually finally finish packing, I think. Hopefully, I don't know, I'll go back over things tomorrow in my head um, before I leave to make sure I feel like I have everything. I also can come back and get things or buy pretty much anything if I do forget it, so won't be the end of the world. Um, but I will give you guys a brief overview of the things I packed. So I did fill up both of these suitcases. They're actually not filled to the max. I had a little bit of extra room in them, but it's kind of just miscellaneous random things. I have my makeup bag and my other like skincare bag in this little trash can. Um, again, stationery right there, uh, toiletries right there, more miscellaneous things are there, uh, and there's kind of all my like more skincare type of stuff in that bucket. So this is kind of what everything looks like. Art piece, I'm literally going to sleep with those on my bed because I just <laughs> don't have anywhere else to put them. I'm currently going to be making a t-shirt for my dad on my Cricut, so um, that's kind of what this little thing is doing right now. Very exciting. I'll go in here so the um, it's not quite as loud. <laughs> I ended up taking a shower, like I said I was going to, that's why my hair's really poofy and kind of looks awful, but you know, what can you do? I think I'm going to end off this pack with me video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel as well as subscribe down below if you guys are new. A moving vlog should be coming out really soon, if not the very next upload after you're seeing this video. Um, so get excited for that. Not exactly sure when this video is going to be going up in comparison to my other videos. I will probably already be moved in by the time you're seeing this because I did have some things uh, pre-filmed, but um, Hopefully you'll see this fairly soon. For the rest of the night, I think I'm just going to edit those videos I was talking about earlier, finish this project for my dad, um, and honestly just head to bed. I am exhausted, it's already past midnight, I have to be up early to get started on the drive and load everything up into the U-Haul. I have so much crap, like it's not even all the stuff that's in my room. There's a bunch in my basement, like that's just my normal like apartment dorm stuff. I, yeah, no, I, <laughs> when I said I was gonna not overpack, I guess that didn't last long. Make sure to go over and follow me on Instagram. It's just at Jade Benward. That's where I keep up with you guys the most and you get the best kind of a uh, glimpse into my real personal life. Links to all my other social media are gonna be in the description box down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. This is